that what I really want to get across is that none of this is man-made. At this point, God has taken over. I see so many people speculating, and I feel like I have some answers. Not that I have all the answers, and it's still a different truth for everybody. I would never take that away from somebody. But I will take the credit away from the man and from the evil. They don't deserve it anymore. This is God. These are the gods. This is divinity. This blue is coming from the Holy Spirit. Holy Mother, an object that is the archetype of her, whatever you want to call it or understand, it is coming from a source that is the archetype, that is the Divine Mother, that is the Holy Spirit. Sirius, the star, there's many parts to that star. I'm still learning and it's always changing. That's been a Mandela effect for me throughout my life. In fact, Recall Vector just did a really interesting video on that. Anyway, trying to stay back on topic. She is known as the silent queen of the apocalypse. She is the Messiah of this new golden age. I have gotten messages that Sirius is going to bring us into the new golden age. That's what's happening right now. We're under an electromagnetic reset. It's just ramping up even more. It's building up to a big, large, what I'm thinking might be a nebula of sorts. That blue star is up next to the sun. That is not just my truth. That is what's happening. It could be a dimensional thing, but I'm starting to get pissed off. I'm getting pissed because I really don't understand why we are not putting more of the pieces together and speaking about this. What, did we forget about the blue and red kachina? Everybody forgot. It doesn't even make sense. It just makes things way more trippy. I understand that we are all confused and that we don't have a lot to go on. But why do we keep throwing the baby out with the bathwater? I don't understand. Can we please try to pull our heads together and stay on track so that we can really focus on the beautiful things that are happening right now? Look at this sunset last night. This is absolutely no contrast. I couldn't believe my eyes. I'll be honest, as much as I'd love to go to the shore every day so that we could see the sunset on the west, I don't typically make it for sunset. But I was out and about and this was just, you couldn't miss it. I'm pretty sure that's Mercury. I think we had a switch in the actual source of light, not a simulator, another planet coming into play. They haven't told us about the astrotheology correctly. We're finding out now. But it's like driving me crazy because this blue is everywhere. It's really, really been really present here in Florida. I've seen it with my own eyes for about a week and a half now. I've been documenting it the whole entire time and I'm seeing it across the country and across the world on other Skywatchers channels. So I'm just having a really hard time understanding why we're not a little more aware of what's going on. Okay, here's another example of a perfect scientific explanation that nobody's even focusing on. 
A while back, WSO spoke about the blue glowing clouds that were coming in from Antarctica. Seems like they've been coming in more and more each year around the same time, but like everything else that's going on right now, there's really no rhyme or reason. Well, there's a ton of them present right now. So unlike Richie from Boston was saying when I happened to catch his show the other day just to check out, you know, what he was feeding the masses. And he's suggesting that all of the chemicals being sprayed, which he continuously reiterates how they're just pounding the hair, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe I need to give him a, more of a chance by watching some more of his stuff, but our thoughts are creations. Our thoughts are creating every moment at some level. So I'm just trying not to really expose myself to that as much as possible. So it's being suggested that that is all chemical spray. All the glowing. I mean, come on, we know it's plasma. Really, they're insulting our intelligence by now. Even new people that are just waking up. This is ridiculous. We have to take a stand. We can't just go away. Turn the volume down if you can't listen to the lies. Because I know I have trouble listening as well. And even though my comments to other people trying to quell their fear do not show, I still go and I still put them wherever I can and not in a preaching not in a preaching or indoctrinated way I'm not even biased to my own understandings I mean there are fundamental truths there's no way around that this is an individual and collective experience we are one i don't know this is just getting out of control maybe it's just a really weird phase that i'm in or that the world is in but it seems as more and more people wake up less and less truth is present i just don't understand to look back at a video I did a couple of days ago. I sped it up and just cut a few pieces out that I wanted to take a look at and mention what I was seeing. I had a message in the Gematria calculator that said Red Kachina Beetlejuice. I did a little research and found an amazing article about Beetlejuice and the fact that it very likely would have a nebula at some point and what that would be like for us. I think that we're in the midst of it. Now lately I've really noticed the clouds passing behind this object. Normally the magnetic clouds, which are from God and from space, not from harp or anything like that, they usually warp the sun when they go in front of it. And you can see a lot when that happens. But here they really truly, they appear to be going behind the sun, which has been happening frequently the past several days. Another thing that's been happening quite often is that it's blurring. The entire thing is blurring. That seems to happen when I'm trying to focus on something that I believe is of a divine or spiritual or etheric or another realm, another dimensional nature. The camera will blur. It's starting to happen to people as well, the people that are going through the light body process. You will notice that the camera will not focus on you. 
and that is happening all around when I try to aim and focus. Right now I'm sitting in a complete fog here in Florida. I mean, I still believe that something is arriving and I don't believe it's anything to fear. And I think that it's going to be so miraculous and we're going to be eased into it and life is going to continue. Like the saying goes, life goes on. And I think we're gonna live all the way through this, but I think that it's important that if nothing else, we open our minds, hearts, and eyes to something new and new possibilities, divine possibilities that we're afraid to believe because we don't want our heart broken. I understand that more than anybody. And while my faith is strong, it's more than that. Like I said, I'm not biased to my understandings. These are just truths, and truth has set me free. And I do understand that everybody needs to come up with these truths on their own at a certain level. But if they don't have the fact that this is something out of this realm and that it's a gift, we're going to create more fear and it's going to be more difficult. Collectively is going to affect you individually. So it really does matter. It matters for so many reasons. It's everything right now. Something else I've seen quite often in the calculator is a woman clothed with the sun. I've seen her. I've seen her a few times. This was pretty magnificent. I just can't deny some of these images. Whether we go the spiritual or scientific route, there are so many amazing things happening. The combination of the two has always been the Holy Grail. Let's get back to that. These objects are amazing and they're here to help us. Peace of God.